Hey everyone, yeah, I'm going to try to do this real quickly because I don't know when the mob is going to come back. He'll be back in a little bit. But, I want to talk about something. Um, it's probably the only video I upload today anyway because I've got to go to uh, my sister's. And um, we're having a little bit of a Super Bowl slash going away party for my nephews. He's going into the Navy, so. Anyway, I, I thought I'd talk about this because I was... Watching Angry Joe's um, top 10 controversial uh, list last night. And uh, on top of that, I also watched, you know, on top of that, of course, I follow Angry Joe, you know, like a lot of fans do on Facebook and Twitter. And he basically showed us something that I think really ticked him off. He, he, as a lot of you know, uh, Joe Vargas, um, Angry Joe, doesn't like copyright. If you know, he's not really much of a fan of it. Uh, but he'll tolerate it if he has to, but he's not really much of a fan of it, especially when, you know, people say one thing and then they do another, or people flag or copyright his video, and literally you don't know who these people are. But but let me talk about copyright, for for example. You know, this is something that I think I've talked about before, maybe not in length, but copyright, you know, as much as we try to fight it, and believe me, we have a right to fight it, you know, there's not really much you can do sometimes when it comes to copyright. I mean, yeah, you can fight it because sometimes you know it's not a legitimate claim. Like Joe's had, <clears throat> you know, several people copyright claim him, and yet he's been able to argue in somewhat win uh, these arguments by saying, hey, there's no copyright here. What's the copyright? You know, I think even Zara Nizarak may have had that at one time. You know, just, you know, copyright is basically the fact that people want to own what you have or own what you're using. Or they're coming out and saying, we own this music, da, da, da. Excuse me. So by, you know, coming out and saying they own the music, or they own this, they own that, sometimes, like I said, the, the claims are legit, they're not legit. And, um, you know, th there are times that, you know, they are legit, and I'm sorry for the distraction there, I thought I heard something. Uh, but like I said, there are times that they are legit, and they're not legit. Um... I'll give you a prime example. When I would do fan vids or I would upload maybe some videos of my wrestling, my CAW wrestling, whatever you want to call it, there will be times that after it's done uploading, that as it's processing to be finalized, part of the process, the reason it takes so long is because of is because of finding uh, copyrighted music in there. Now, majority of the time, from what I've seen, the copyright music uh, will be okay. Basically, they'll say, all right, this is copyrighted music, da, da, da. Uh, they'll probably put like a little bar in, in the middle with a little advertisement on the bottom of the video, or they might start your video off with an advertisement to, that you can skip, or sometimes not skip. But basically, they also have, I think they still have it somewhere. They have a link in the description. They add a link in the description box saying, hey, here's where you can get the song if you want it. So, well, you can click on Amazon, iTunes, eMusic, you name it. So, sometimes copyright isn't as bad because, you know, what they're saying is, hey, we don't have a problem with you using the music, but here, we're going to have, but here, we're going to let people... But, you know, basically they're saying, hey, we don't have a problem with you using the music. But we're going to make it to where if people enjoy the music that's in the video. They can click on this link and they can go and um, uh, play it for themselves or buy it or whatever. And that's usually a good thing. That's usually pretty good. 
Now, sometimes it's not just music either. Sometimes it's visual. And it's the same thing. Um, there are times that I've done fan vids involving footage from Sonic X, uh, stuff from Sat AM, Rescue Rangers, you name it. And uh, sometimes what they'll do is they'll list just like just like they do just like music companies do with music, uh, they'll list uh, a major of where you could click on it. Like with Sonic X, they'll tell you where the episode, what episode it is, or what where some of the clips are from, or where those clips, are, what show those clips belong to, and they'll provide a link to iTunes or Amazon and say, hey, come click this, and you can watch buy and watch the episode here. So sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's bad because, you know, the bad wise is because is they're making money off of you. Even though you're the one that made the video. The good thing is that in exchange for that, they're allowing your videos to still be played. So that's all right. So I kind of look at it as a win-win situation. You know, yes, you know what? Yes, they're winning by making money off the video because of the link they'll provide for the for people to click on to go. To their site and actually buy the song or buy the episode or whatever but it's a win for you because you still have your you still have your video up uh, playable and available to anybody watching um, the the downside about that though is there are still companies out there that will Copyright claim your video to the point that your video will not be playable. It might be playable to you, but to the rest of the world, it won't be viewable. And sometimes it even goes as far as to where it won't be viewable at all. It'll just be taken down. And a lot of people don't like that. I've had it happen to me about a few times. I know it's happened to Angry Joe. I know it's happened to several people. And that's what pisses them off about the copyright deal. Like, okay, here's some of this good stuff that I've mentioned to where, yeah, it's a win-win situation to where, yeah, they win by making money off the song or the footage we're using because they provide the links for people to click on and go check those out themselves at their site. And it's a win for us because we keep our videos up. But then comes this situation to where there are still companies that say, no, you're not going to have this video played at all. And... To me, I think I think it's something that needs to change because we're not really harming anything. What some of these companies that still have your videos taken down, muted, whatever, blocked worldwide, they have to understand we're not doing anything. If anything, they should be appreciative of the fact that we're advertising. We're giving them free advertisement of a program, of a show that you know some people may or may not know about. You know, so they should be happy with that. They should be understanding of that. And again, like I said, there are those companies that even though they'll make money off of the footage we use or the songs we use because, yeah, they do own copyright ownership of it. So it's sort of a win-win, if you will. There are still companies that don't understand that and they need to understand that. They, they need to understand. We are giving them free advertising. We're letting them see and getting the word out about these certain programs and they need to acknowledge that but they don't they don't so because they're so stubborn that they don't want people to they don't want even people like me Joe Darren Nizarak James Wolf or anybody to do that and you know and it's not just you know shows either it's video games like Angry Joe's a good example of video games you know, when he, he did a three-minute video of Nintendo, Nintendo basically, obviously, will let him play his video or do a review, but guess what? Guess what? He can't really get his video worldwide. You see, the, the thing with Angry Joe, it's just like, let's say, Nostalgia Critic, you know, Doug Walker, they want their videos to be seen worldwide. And Angry Joe doesn't like the fact that his video, even though it's still playable from what I saw in that one video where he talked about Nintendo Wii U failed, even though it's still available, he doesn't like the fact that the vid the fact that not a lot of people are going to be able to see it because of the fact that Nintendo is copywriting, copywriting, copyright and copyright and copywriting 
the entire score of uh, of Mario Kart. And it's essentially because he he's one of those people that makes money off this himself with his videos. Nintendo is essentially taking money out uh, money out of his wallet, taking food out of his mouth. You know, taking away his uh, way of making a living, if you will. And he's not a fan of that. Obviously, you know, he's really not a fan of that. It's more like, look, you can copyright it, just don't make. He's got the philosophy, and this is just my opinion. He's got the philosophy. Hey, you can make. It's like, hey, you can copyright it. Just don't make money off it because it's my video. I'm the one reviewing it. I'm the one talking about it. But, you know, apparently from what he said uh, in his vlog update with uh, Duluth or Duluth or whatever his name is, I apologize if I pronounce it wrong. The Pack South video and update. Uh, apparently Nintendo is trying to do something to where it's not going to really favor anybody that does a review for any of the titles. Uh, any of the Nintendo exclusive titles, I should say. Uh, but with that said, um, I I really do agree that you know I do agree with you on one thing that if you're going to copyright it, fine, but don't do it to where you can. If somebody's if somebody is a paid partner, if somebody's making money, is montaging the channel to make money off of it, to you know make a living, don't make money off them. Don't take food out of their mouth. That's how I look at it. But again, it's you know it's, it's all those situations as well. And then of course you got something else that some people may favor or may not favor, and that's copywriting sayings and words. Now I briefly talked about this in my as the last topic of my topics on my mind video for this year. The the, the thing is, why in the world would you copyright a saying? Why would you copyright "I'm hot"? Why would you copyright uh, sick bee? Why would you copyright your fire? Knowing that legitimately, a majority of the time, you're not going to really gain ownership of these things. Paris Hilton, somehow, I guess she knows somebody, gained ownership of I'm Hot. Donald Trump, one of the most powerful people in the world, or one of the most richest people in the world, didn't gain ownership of your fire, because that's a common saying. You know, so Taylor Swift now wants to gain ownership of sick beat. You know, I, I said this before and I'll say it again. Basically, the reason people are copywriting sayings like this is legacy. That's all it is. It is legacy. They want to have something that when they finally hang it up, they finally call it quits. They finally say it's time to retire. They want something that's going to define their legacy. They want something that's going to get them to be remembered by. That's all this whole copyright of sayings goes. That's why Taylor Swift wants to copyright six beats. So that let's say she ever makes a, ever creates or find, if she ever founds or finds her own record label, creates her own record, record label or company, she creates her own record company, one of the record labels out of it she could call it, she could use, she, she can use the sick beat of saying for a record label. Clothing line, same thing. You know, but the thing is, the thing is, that's the reason people do this. They want to have legacy. They want to have something that they can name whatever they do outside of what they're doing uh, with. Like I said, record label. They, you know, Paris Hilton ever creates a record company of her own. She can call it Sick Beat Records, or you know, Sick Beat Clothing Line. Whatever. It's all about legacy, and that's why you have these celebrities and sports figures copywriting stuff, these sayings and stuff because of legacy. So. Uh, but that's just my take on the whole copyright situation. And um, that's really all I have to say about it. I, I, like I said, there are some good about it, good, good and bad about it, sort of win-wins here and there. But sometimes some of it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense and I think really needs to change around, change and you know, kind of start to benefit people more positively than negative. So... Uh, but let me know what you guys think if you agree with what I had to say in this vid, and I will talk to you all later.